Hi, Rene. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rene. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Excellent. I'm okay. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank yes. you. Yes, very nice, very good. How was your day today? So you're working from home, Irene, right now, or you're going to the office? Uh, yes, I am home, but um, I was in, in go, um, out too. Ah, okay, all right, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, nice. Let's wait for the other... Um, Hold on, it's texting me right now. All right, very good. Okay, so um, so tell me a little bit about your job, uh, Irene. What do you really do in your job? Okay, um, in my job, I I held uh, many teenagers that study in the ONG. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. um, I found vacant, vacant, vacant. Uh, vacancies. Ah, you find va vacancies. Yes. Yes. Ah. For for, for day. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. And this yes. is, is, is this their first job, Irene? Like, this is the first job they're gonna get? No, no, it's not my first job. It's, um, no, 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 not yours. Their first job. Ah, yes. Uh, for, okay. for they, it, it's true. Ah, okay. It's, uh, they first job. Ah, all right. Okay. Uh -huh. First, uh, they receive um, a seminar. Okay. Uh huh. And then um, they get a uh, an employee. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now you do. I mean, how do you get their jobs? I mean, do they apply to different positions, or how do they get the jobs? It's a, a like um career because uh, some they are um, a salesman person ah salesperson okay uh, salesperson other mechanic person mm. um, other uh -huh, many careers okay all right i get it interesting very nice hi elizabeth hi henry teacher hi Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, How are you? Hi. How was your day, Eli? Uh, I am fine, teacher. Excellent. Because it was it was day relaxing. Really? Yes. Elizabeth. I have, I, uh huh. I have a little uh, work. Okay. Now, Elizabeth, are you working from home right now? No, teacher. Uh, we did. We didn't stop. Oh. I, I say, o sea, no hemos parado. Yeah, you didn't stop. Ah. Didn't stop. Yeah. We didn't stop. Wow. And always we have we have to go. Oh, really? So you go every day, Elizabeth. Uh, every day, uh, since Monday to Friday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what do you do, Ellie? Uh, uh, my work, I am secretary. Okay. Uh, oh, so, I am receptionist. Okay. Because I receive a lot of phone calls. Phone calls. Ah, yes. okay. I receive, I receive visiting for the, for each radio. Okay. I, um, I taking a 
a, a few parts of an account. Okay. All because right. I receive, uh -huh, I receive facturas. All right. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Yes. Let's see. All right. So we have Williams and Jesenia and Diana. Hello, Diana and Gerardo. Super. Very good, guys. All right. That's nice. So how was your day, Williams? Your day okay? Um, it, it was okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm working and... Now, it's Williams... A, it was a great day. Excellent. Williams, yeah. are you like going out to the field now or you're staying in the office or you're working from home or how are you dealing with it? okay oh, all of all of things all of that yeah i work sometimes i am fill out uh, was all oh uh, sometimes i am working at home mm. or uh, in some case i am going to the office but uh, only two three or four hours all right okay yeah all right. Okay, very good. Interesting. All right, very good. Let's see. And then we have Diana. How was your day today, Diana? Did you have a busy day today? Good evening. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, yes, I did. I had a really busy day today. Really? Okay. All right. Yes, but it was good. It was a really good day. Excellent. I'm, I'm glad to hear. Very good. Gerardo, your day at Intradesa, how was it? Was it an okay day? Are you going every day at the, like to the factory? Gerardo? Going every day. You go every day? In the morning. Yeah. Okay. 6 a.m. And what time do you finish? Um, 2 p.m. Because they have, you have the new schedule, right? Yes. All right. For the, right. Okay. The terms and right. Yeah. The shifts. You have two night, shifts now. The right. Night, the, the day the shift term. and the night shift. Right. That's, that's, that's in the, in the okay. I get it. All right. Okay. Very good. Jose Luis. Hi, Jose Luis. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I, am I am great. My Ex day was very good. Excellent. Very good. All right, Norma. Hi, Norma. Nice to have you in class again, Norma. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day today at work, Norma? Hi. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Very nice. Nice to hear that, Norma. Very good. And Moises. Hi, Moises. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good, good evening, evening, everyone. Excellent. How was Hi. your day, Moises? Uh, fine, very fine. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, we stay. I I stay at home. Okay. All <laughs> right. I am not working. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Now you're not you're okay. not working because of this whole um situation, or did you have your day off today? No, for the situation. Okay. All right. The the place that I that I work is right. is closed. Oh. I'm waiting for the well, for the economy uh, is open to reopen all right okay you know what i was i was listening i don't know if it's right guys and I, I really don't watch the news <laughs> to be honest but do you know when the, the they are going to open up the second phase of the uh of the reopening stages do you know anybody yes until on, on on 21 when? august when August 20th. August, August 20th, really? Yeah. Oh, I see. All right. You see, I don't watch the news, Norm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not a news person. All right. Especially because of my children. Very good. Hi, Nubia. How are you today, Nubia? Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi. how are you? Nice to have you in class. I am fine, thank you. Excellent, nice. And also Jesse, hi Jessenia, Eric, very nice. Eric Diaz, hello. Hello. How are you, teacher? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. I'm happy to have you back in class, all of you guys. Very good. Okay. So guys, we're gonna keep on talking about a similar topic, 
remember that this program is designed for you to know like vocabulary related to work more than anything else, okay? Uh, it doesn't mean that we are not gonna study any like topics that are related to like grammar kind of topics, we will. But if you have noticed, Tuesday and Wednesday, we have talked about a real life stuff, about uh, professional development and stuff, benefits, advantages, disadvantages, all right? Which we all work and we all should know about, all right? And, the, and how every different company approaches their uh, PD or professional development in different ways, okay? So today, we're gonna keep on talking a little bit about the same topic, but in relation to training, all right? So you may be wondering, isn't it the same? Training and professional development? What do you think? Tell me, that's my first question. Is training and professional development the same? Yes, it is or it isn't, or is it related? And explain me how. Yes, Normita. Uh, I think teacher is related, but not the same. Ah, uh -huh. explain yourself, yes. Norma. Because uh, development uh, is a, a, a schedule plan okay. to, to put in budget and uh, have a different or a specific uh, topic to cover during the one year or two years, mm, depending uh -huh. on the plan for the companies. Okay. And the training is mm -hmm. a specific seminar, mm -hmm. topic um, not related, can be. Okay. Or according to the NES for each department or ear, a different person of the specific groups. Okay. All right, Norma, I think you read my PPT. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Norma. Very good. You're very, very close to what I have for you guys. All right. Diana, do you agree with Norma or like, do you have a different idea? Does it relate? I mean, is it very different? Are they the same? Do they relate with each other? What can you tell us, Diana? I think that training is a, is a kind of a professional, but I don't think that um, that professional development is um, only the training. Okay. I think the training is a part of professional ah, development. Ah, okay. Yes. Professional development is more, it, it contains more than training. All right, okay. Ah, yo creo que Diana también leyó mi PPT. Ajá, very nice. Good, guys. Very good. I, I like it because you guys are like understanding this whole topic here. What about the, the rest of you guys, Gerardo, Williams, Eric? I want you guys to tell me, think about training. Is it the same as professional development? Are they totally different? Do they relate? What, what do you think? Or like, what's your idea? What I want is you guys to like actually, you know, take part of this process of speaking because we need to practice it. So any ideas, guys? I want to hear everyone. Okay, I didn't read your PPT, but <laughs> I, I don't have a, <laughs> an answer, but I think it is it's a little different because uh, training is focused in some specific point, but uh, professional de development uh, I'm so sorry. Development. That's okay, William. Sorry, that's fine. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Development. So, it uh, uh, have a, a more has, topics about, has a more topics about, uh, so you can, uh, you can learning about different uh, things. All right. Uh, but I think you also saw it. Saw my PPT. No, I'm kidding. It was very good. All right. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else, guys? A ver. Henry, Jose Luis, Gerardo, Irene, Jesse, Nubia, everyone. Aha, uh -huh, Henry, thank you. Okay. okay. I, I, uh, Go ahead, no, Henry, and then hey. Jesse. Okay. Henry, okay. you may, yeah, thank you. Okay. Yes. Henry, okay. Go? Uh -huh. Teacher, for me, it's not similar, but, okay. but the training is included in the professional development because the prof professional development is more deep. It's a program, it's a plan, okay. and uh, it's a continuous, con 
process continues. A, 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 a continuing process, uh -huh. And continue process and the timeline is more uh, so the, so yeah, specific for the right. person. Right, okay, all right. Wow, guys, you're so smart. All right, let's see who else. Uh -huh. We're gonna say something. Okay, I, I want to say something about professional development. Yes, please. I think that that professional de development involves ah. all the trainings. Okay. Because the professional development is, is when you obtain one information about one training. All right. And training is, is all the difference thing that you can learn more mm -hmm. and improve your okay. knowledge for help helping your business and your manager can be. Okay. And that is related that two topics but are different functions. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect. I hear I, I see your point. Thank you. Very very nice, Jesse. All right. Hi no uh, hi Jess Jennifer. I'm sorry. Hi Jennifer. Nice you're in class today, Jenny. Very good. Welcome. All right, let's see. Uh Eric Diaz, what do you think? Do you agree I with your peers? Uh-huh. I think um, professional, professional development is uh, a lot of training okay. du during your life. Okay. And training is spe specific. A specific? Uh, a specific. And for example, a seminar okay. uh, during two, eight months. Okay. One year, mm -hmm. and professional development is more, okay. more of this. Okay, all right. Okay, interesting. Thank you. All right, Irene, you had your hand up. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Uh, I think the training is a uh, say Eric is more specific. Okay. Because uh, it's about a topic and it's part of. Mm -hmm. uh, the the professional development right. is part of okay very good okay get it uh okay. let's see okay thank you irene very well done uh let me see jose luis moises and vero and nubia what do you guys think about it i think that both professional development and, and training are related to 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 have or to be improve the skills and the knowledge of the of the employee. Okay. All right. That's Interesting. It. Thank you. Thank you, Moises. Very good, Vero. Um, Anubia and who else? Jose Luis. I'm asking if training and professional development is the same. They are nothing to do with each other, or if they relate. And if do if they do relate. How do they relate with each other? Okay, in my point of view, I, I think there is professional development is related with training. Okay. But training is a, a specific group and the company have a training maybe to new person start to mm. work in that company mm. or the same person that is in the company when they have a new process okay. and they training the, the employees. Okay, I see, I see. Thank you, Jose Luis. Thank you very much. Very well done. All right, Vero and Nubia, ideas, girls? I just joined teacher. In yeah, Vero. I know, I saw it, Vero. Don't worry about it. Okay, that's okay. What about Nubia? Vero say by the bell. All right. <laughs> All right, Nubia, any ideas of if it, uh, whether and professional development, are they related? And Gerardo also, Gerardo, any ideas on that topic? Yes, I have, a, I think the, the training is uh, operational mm -hmm. and uh, teach okay. the people how to compete and their jobs. All right. And professional development is more strategic. All right. Okay. So means acquiring a knowledge, skill, mm. abilities. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Nubia? Ellie? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, for me, training is is more specific. Okay. Uh, about the topic in the work and uh, the professional development are a uh, personal abilities. Um, mm -hmm. Only that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, very good, guys. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to share with you the PPT, the famous PPT, all right, that I have for you today. Uh, which in this case or in this uh, video conference, guys, we're going to be talking about training, which it does relate to professional development, but it's not the same as like you guys said it like, and you really like said it really, really well. Training is part of professional development, right? But as Norma was saying, it's very, if you want to call it punctual, you know, it's like very to the point, all right? Wild as or mean as a wild as a professional development is a process. It's a longer process, let's say. All right. So I'm going to share my PPT. All right, and you're going to see what we're talking about today. So this is what I have for you guys: training. All right, and it says, uh, "Let's see, Jose Luis, can you read?" It's a training, and right after it. Okay, training benefit or different training. Options. All right, thank you. Training, benefit of different training options. So we're going to be talking a little bit about training. What is training? The type of trainings we can get at a job or at a workplace, all right? The benefit, the benefit for the employer and the benefits for the employee, all right? So I, as always, guys, I do ask from your participation because otherwise, uh, the class doesn't flow, but it, it has been flowing really, really nicely on the past uh, three days. And I hope that you guys keep on like getting, um, being a lot of like participative on classes, which it makes like the class fun. All right. So here we have training versus professional development. Okay. Who wants to read this, guys? I need someone to read it for me. Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Me? Yes, or please. Someone? Yes, yes. Okay. Diana, yes. Thank okay. You. Sorry. I thought that, uh, I thought that it, 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 anyone else. No, that's fine. You may do okay. it, Diana. Thank you. Okay. There are definite differences between training and professional development. Training fills in a gap, but development looks to the future and growth of the company em employee. Thank you. All right. So there, there are definite differences between training and professional development. All right. Training fills in a gap. As Norma was saying, it's something that is like a punctual, that is there, that you need it. All right. That is part of your professional development. Remember on Tuesday when we were talking about seminars and conferences and workshops and trainings, and lectures, open lectures, all those guys are part of professional development, okay? Now, eh, according to the manual that we're supposed to study, or that we're studying from InstaForp, they want us to look deeper into trainings, all right? So what I'm going to do with you tonight is I'm going to guide you through some trainings that every institution, every work must follow or must have all right as we were saying yesterday everything everything sounds beautifully on paper all right everything looks beautifully on my ppt if you want to call it that way but what happens on a real life setting on a real life workplaces are these happening are these training taking place in the in our companies we as employees should know all right, then we're going to talk about the benefits of trainings. I'm going to show you different trainings and I'm going to send you guys to discuss in your groups the benefit of this type of training. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on today. So as you notice, uh, no sé quién, eh, guys, el micrófono no sé quién lo tiene abierto, pero se un poquito de bullita por ahí. Thank you. All right, so in this case, guys, training fills in a gap. That means that Something needs to be taught because it's necessary and you use a training method, all right, to cover that gap, to fulfill that gap, all right? But development looks to the future, 
the future, even if it's a near future, it's still a part of the professional development, but it can be in a long-term future, all right? And then it takes also uh, a look at the growth of the company and not only the company, but also the employees, all right? So if you notice, of course, professional development is wider, is broader, is, it's more complete, and training is part of this professional development. Let's see, typical reasons for employee training development. These guys are taken again from an article from United States, okay? So these are the reasons why these companies, they choose to have trainings, all right? And development plans, all right? So let's see, uh, Jose Luis, can you read the first one? Then uh, Jennifer, you may read the second one. Vero, the okay. third one. Irene, the fourth. Jesse, the fifth. Eh, Gerardo, number six. Normita, the last one, Norma, okay? So be ready when your classmate finish reading the one that I just assigned. All right, so eh, the first one, Jose Luis, do you mind reading it for us? Jose Luis? Jose Luis? Se nos fue? <laughs> Jose, Jose? Not there. Oh, all right, Diana, do you mind reading the first one? Yes, I already Me gave you okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, who started? Me. Yeah, yeah, because Jose Luis is not okay. there right now. Aha. Uh -huh. Typical reason for employee training and development. Training and development can be in the, in the initiated, initiated, initiated a barrier for reason for an employee or group okay. of employees. Training and development, can you hear me? Yes, Jose Luis. Yes, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right. Aha, Jose. Okay. Well, okay, go ahead. Okay. Jose Luis, can you hear us now? <laughs> Jose Luis, where are you? Okay, teacher. All right, when let's see. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay, Elizabeth, wait. Uh, I'm gonna read number okay. two. Yes, yes okay. Jennifer's reading number two. When a performance appraisal indicates performance improvement is needed. All right, so when a performance appraisal indicates performance improvement is needed, all right? Number three, who's reading number three? Teacher, what is appraisal? I will tell you, hold on, I will tell you, uh-huh. Who's reading number okay. three? Me, teacher. All right. To then to mark the status of improvement so far in a perform, performance improvement effort. Uh-huh. All right, next one. Me, teacher. Yes. As part, of, as part of an overall professional development program. Okay, next one. Who's reading next, guys? All right, who wants to read the next one? I don't know who I assigned it to. Me, teacher. Yes. As part of succession planning to have an employee be eligible, eligible? for a planet. change in role in the organization. Okay, very good. All right, the, la the second last one to pilot. To pilot or test the operation of the new performance management system. Thank you. And the last one, Norm, I think it was you. To train about the topic below. We're going to go on that. All right. Very good. Thank you. So it says, what these are, uh, again, guys, the microphone of someone is on. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Typical reasons. I'm showing you. I'm not saying these are all the reasons why we may have a trainings at a workplace, but these are like the typical reasons that we may have, okay? Or the most common ones. Number one, 
Training and development can be initiated mm -hmm. for a variety of reasons, all right? It says, let me just, oops. I'm just moving us here, all right? For a variety of reasons, for an employee or group of employees. What are the reasons? Number one, when performance of appraisal indicates performance improvement is needed. Do you know this word, guys? Do you know what this word, oops, do you know what that word means? This one right here. What is appraisal? Do you know the meaning? Me teach. What yeah, is the what meaning? Is okay. Uh, I'm asking what the meaning. Do you know the meaning of appraisal? Um, no? No. Okay, it's evaluation. Uh, when, when a performance evaluation indicates performance improvement is needed, okay? Uh, so appraisal is a very like formal word of saying evaluation. So when do we need a training? When this evaluation, like performance evaluation tells us or indicates us that performance itself needs improvement, okay? So that's why we need a training as a company or as an institution, we say, ah, okay. So this evaluation tells us, ¿Tienen alguien está con el micrófono abierto por ahí? Eh, this evaluation tells us that the performance of our staff is not so great, okay? That it needs improvement. So that's when we need because we want everybody to be per, like to perform the best way. Do you understand that point, guys? All right, very good. Okay, next one. To benchmark the status of improvement so far in a performance improvement effort. What is benchmark? What do you think benchmark is? Anybody? It is, it is brand, mark. Aha, uh -huh, Diana? Or I don't know who was saying, yes? I think that is to compare with another with another company. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Reference. Yeah. It's when it, it re is the reference of the company when you're comparing companies. All right, as a reference. Okay. So to improve it, because there are other other companies related to our. I mean, we're not the only uh, sure, not the only funeral home, we're not the only NGO, we are not the only factory, we are not the only clothing store. There are other uh, stores or companies related to ours, all right? So you need to set your benchmark, all right? So you need to set your, like, um, your reference, okay? Number three, as part of an overall professional program, and this is what Norma was saying at the very beginning, all right? A training is, for, uh, is a part of an overall professional development program. Is this little uh, tiny bit that makes uh, the professional development program a success, all right? To have training, seminars, webinars, and whatever you call it, all right? I'm, um, okay. I'm just gonna move us again. Okay, next one. A part of succession planning, help an employee be eligible for a planned change in role in the organization, all right? Sometimes we have trainings, and this is what Norma was saying yesterday, all right? Uh, that in her company, they choose, let's say they choose the best employee, and he or she goes and learns different skills. So when there is an opening, on that area, this person that has been training or has been trained is probably gonna be chosen because he or she, they have the skills, all right? So it's within the, the same organization of the training to change roles, all right? To pilot or test the operation of a new performance management system, all right? So when something is gonna change in the company, training has to happen, otherwise, the employees are going to be lost and they're going to get lost, all right? They have no idea how, this, how to operate this new performance management system, especially if you're trying to launch it, 
all right? Because this is a new, for example, this is a new uh, marketing strategy, all right? So we wanna try to see how it works, but then who, who's gonna make it work needs to be trained. Otherwise, nothing will work, okay? And then we have to train about a specific topic. As I think Norma also was saying, sometimes these trainings do relate to your job position or sometimes they don't really relate to your job position, but it's a specific topic that somehow it relates, all right? So do you understand all these typical reasons why, employ like why we have or why companies choose to have trainings? Guys, do you understand the reason? typical reasons. Again, I'm not saying these are the only ones, okay? Now, I want you to think about your uh, real life. Hi, Oscar, I didn't see you coming in because I was talking. All right, hi. So I want you to think about your um, companies, okay? Why do you, give me one reason or give us one reason why do you think uh, your company decides to have a training? What, what do you think? Um, for example, in my company to, to uh, better times to produce the, the, the many, many clubs. Okay. Uh, for example, the, the operators. Okay. All right. Okay, I see. Let's Machine. see. What, yes. Okay. Uh, right. Engineers try to capacity, uh, cap to train, to train, uh, to the people, to, to train the people, uh, to, uh, uh, to do it, do it uh, the the better uh, forms. To operate, to do the the operations. Okay. And, and they try to better, better to improve uh, times 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 the times. Oh, the times okay. To to see when the, the clock. All right. Like to improve uh, the example. times. To improve timing. Improve the time. Okay. okay, I get it. Time. All right. Time. Will, yeah. Williams and then Norma. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, in our case, uh, we have a complex process working with communities uh, in association with communities, community leaders, churches, and different uh, uh, mayor's office too. So, um, and we have a lot of tools for that. So, uh, when we hire a new person, uh, we need to teach him about right. it. You yeah. need to train them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, you cannot just send someone and say, okay, there you go. All right, very no. good. Yeah. All right, Norma, what about in your company? In our case, teacher, with related to the associate for sewing, uh, the people when is hired at the, comp at the company and uh, not have any idea mm -hmm. to, about, to the, use the machinery okay. or make a method for sewing and the company had a program, a complete program to teach for them the use for machine and then uh, give us a, a one method. Okay. In order they, uh, the people can be a, a accomplishment, mm -hmm. the time can accomplish. Okay. Okay. for the, the specific operation. Okay. If when the people uh, reach that method, the people reach 100% efficiency. Right. Okay. Then uh, when the people uh, reach that efficiency, mm -hmm. they increase the salary too. Okay. Ah, all right. Okay. Yes. All because right. the people receive the, the, the payment according mm -hmm. to the efficiency mm -hmm. produced. Okay. I see. I see. I understand. All right. So. Uh, Oscar, because you joined us a little later, we're talking about that. We, well, we began talking about and how it 
it is related to professional development. It is not the same because training is part of professional development, all right? It is not professional development, but it is part of it. So I think when you came in, we were talking about some typical reasons why companies have training sessions, all right? And then I, the, I was kind of like reading and going over them and as well as your classmates. Uh, for example, when performance improvement is needed, all right, when you are testing a new operation, so people need to know like what are the steps and everything, all right? Uh, to no. train about specific topics and so on, all right? So that's what we were uh, discussing, Oscar, when you came in, all right? Okay. Now, what I want uh, you guys to do is suggest reasons for supervisors, managers, or companies to conduct training among employees. So this is what I want you to do here. Hold on, just give me a second. Okay, do me a favor. Can you take a just going to move this uh, little arrow here. All right, can you take a picture of this? Uh -huh. All right. Sure. Thank you. Let me know when you finish. Okay. Okay. And okay I we're done. Okay. Thank you, Williams. Thank you. The rest is finished? Yes. Okay. I'm going to move it. All right. Okay. Oh, you know what? I uh, know. Okay. I want you to take a picture of this. What the organization gains from employee training. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. I, I, I just wanted to take these two pictures right now, okay? Now, the first one, it says, suggest reasons for supervisors, managers, mm -hmm. or companies, or your human department, uh, your uh, human, what is it? Your human, yeah, your human department uh, on your company. Resource. What, yeah, uh, why do they conduct training among employees? All right, what I want you to do, because remember that you come from different companies, except two classmates that we have from the same hotel, but it's okay, mm -hmm. probably they come from different areas or department within the same business, all right? Based on your company, based on your experience, I want you to suggest reasons and tell your partner, okay? So I think, for example, at, uh, at my company, I think they, uh, they conduct training among employees because they want to improve mm -hmm. uh, their, uh, what is it, Norma? Their how do you call it? Their performance, their, um, ah, you said the word, Norma. Related to, to you what? Were, you, were, you were just saying that when they reach the 100% what, Norma? Ah, the, the people uh, increase the payment. Yeah, I know, but what do they do? Ah, the people, uh, I, uh, I forgot the word. Re reach the efficiency you efficiency. said efficiency yeah okay mm -hmm. so for example in the case of norma she can say okay so we or the the managers or our companies or the owner of the man of the company they conduct training among employees because they want uh the people that produce to reach the uh, efficiency all right and then in my company could be different all right so in william's mm -hmm. company it's different because it's not a NGO, all right, that deals with children or teenagers or who, or whatever, right? So the reasons why Williams Company would conduct training among employees is different for the, from the reasons that Norma's company will conduct training among employees. So what I want you guys to do is discuss the different um, reasons or or ways or yeah reasons why these companies conduct training among employees all right and then i want you to talk about okay so at the end of the day fine what does the organization gain from employee training is it like do they get anything do they gain anything from training their employees or is a loss for the company all right, so based on your companies, I don't want you to think about any other company. I want you to place yourself in the company that you work for, that you know how it works, that you have been trained, all right, and then kind of think about it. 
they they conduct trainings for us and then what do this what does the organization gain from it anyway all right do you understand what we're going to be working on yeah, yeah. sure sure yeah norma jennifer you understand jenny yeah all right. i understand excellent all right you know what guys hi guillermo hello so nice to have you in class excellent very good okay but you know what hi guillermo uh, what I want you to do while you're working with your uh, peers or your classmates is I actually want you to take notes, okay? Maybe you can, if you're working Hello. from a computer, you can take notes on the computer so you can share them, all right, on a Word document or something. So when I come in, I can see them and then I'm going to be asking, you know, to tell me and to walk me through your ideas, all right? Yes, do you see that? Do you, you understand? Okay, yes. guys. Uh, because I don't want to interrupt your process here, I'm going to take attendance right now. Okay, so just tell me if you're present, please. All right. Let's see. Ah, uh, this is not your list. All right, Nancy Elizabeth Larin. Chavez is not present today. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Present. Thank you. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Dijo que va a entrar más tarde. Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. Present teacher. Eh, José Luis Rivera Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Moisés Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present teacher. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Thank you. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Here yet. Williams Alexander Rodriguez Argueta. Present. <laughs> eh, Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. All right. Eh, Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Very good. Gerardo Daniel Gomez Rodriguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Elizabeth del Carmen. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present. Thank you. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martinez. Okay. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Nubia Araceli. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, guys. So now you're free to go to your groups. Remember to talk about those two questions and then if you have the possibility of be typing them so I can come in and see them. And if not, don't worry about it. We can talk about it, all right? But the idea is to discuss from your um, company and then from the other partner's company as well, which are different reasons, all right? Why you would have or why your companies would have training sessions for you, okay? okay. Thank you, there we go.
to we need to improve different areas. Yes. Uh, and always uh, they nos envían, they send us. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. They send us yes. um uh seminaries. Seminars? Uh, seminars. Um every every six month. Sometimes every three months they send us always uh, one more. Yes. Okay. And you? And your company? Um, in my company, the more common is the, the, the organization training uh, for employers in, the, in technology. Because technology. Uh, technology. Uh, always, uh, always is change. Uh, Changing. In, I use changes. I use uh, the pro There is what the organization gains from employee training. Okay, what do you understand about the first questions? Uh, I don't have a, um, I feel a little bit confused. Why? I, because I don't understand really the question. Can you help me please? I don't understand so very well, but I think that is, uh, what is the reason for supervisor managers companies are conduct training among employees? Yeah. It's about how the company are give you some employees. I think in that for training in her employees. And I think in my institution, my principal is share at different kinds of people to give a different training for improve the methodology mm -hmm. that the teacher yes. has to use. Right. And in my institution, in this year, I have three seminars. Mm -hmm. And the first seminars is about uh, Colombian people mm -hmm. that explained that is play about the education that they use for mm. improve the knowledge in the student that had difficult to learning. Mm, and uh, yes, and the second seminar is uh, is teach the seminar one Spanish Spanish, I don't know. Yeah, Spanish. <laughs> Yes, Spanish people, and in that seminar, the, that people teach for all like worker to teach for the young people to learn to learn to read to read and to learn to read. Yes, thank you. To read to read and to learn to write mm -hmm. and. But uh, script letters. All right. And that, yes, that seminar is interesting because in my case, I do all the exercise and I mm. improve my, my letter. Oh my goodness, I, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh. because in my first time, I had a, a grown letter. But oh my goodness. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, so, so Jesse and Vero, question. I don't know because uh, I was listening that you didn't like. You were a little bit confused. I'm just gonna show it to you here so I can help you out better. It says, um, "Hold on." I wanted you okay. to to tell us or to share with your classmate. In this case, with Jesse and uh, Vero, why do you think? What are the what reasons your company has? for sending you or conducting a training among their employees, all right? So one of the reasons Jess is saying is for us to know different methodologies, for example, like teaching methodologies, yes. all right? So that's one of the reasons th that is not, um, Vero, what kind of, you don't work at a school, right, Vero? No. 
no, okay. So your the reasons that your company may have, Veronica, for sending you to a training are different from what Yesenia's company reasons are. See my point? Because in the case of Jesse, she works at a school, so the, the principal wants them to have training trainings about different methodologies, how to deal with children, yeah. how to teach, how to read, how to improve their cursive writing, all right? So their reasons are different. What are the reasons of your company for sending you to trainings, all right? For example, it can be to, to improve in the IT, like the, the computer thing about, uh, for, for, to say something, all right? Or yes. if you work at a, like a selling store, for example, or a clothing store, they would send you because they want to improve their sales, all right? They want to sell more. So they want to send you, the employee, mm -hmm. to know more about, I don't know, strategies of selling, about for how to, example. like, customer service, for example. For, ex mm -hmm. for example, the company needs that we improve the ways to do the activities. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Now, which activities are you talking about? Uh, uh, for example, in my company, that there are different positions in right. areas. Right, okay. And now, every area has the own, the own activities. Right, okay. In, so in, in my uh -huh, case, uh -huh. In my case, my activities are, for example, I am in a, a auditing in the area auditing. Okay, auditing. like uh -huh. you're you're in an audit area, uh huh. Yes, and they and we have some programs to evaluate the different areas. Areas. Of the okay. All right. And sometimes. Uh, for example, the last year we went to uh, a seminar about the auditing. Auditing, uh huh. Audit, yes. Okay. And the seminar, uh, the seminar provides um, different methodologies. Okay. For to do the the activities right okay okay all right very good so that's why that you guys were sent to those programs okay so if you mm. notice the reasons of your company and the reasons of jesenia's company are different mm -hmm. all right yes. they are not because yes. they're different companies right so it wouldn't make sense that you are an auditor for example and you're sent to teach or you're sent to this training about how to teach kids to read it makes no sense because your company is not related yes. to education, right? Or vice versa. Yes, so. teacher. It's oh. so different, but, but mm -hmm. my principal too uh, give me training about our relationship with the co-worker. Sure. Because okay. when you have good co-worker, and you have good relationship, the uh, business is grown. That's right. Very. So, Excellent. Yes. So in, in some mm -hmm. cases, Jesse and Veronica, you may have some trainings that are alike, all right? Like teamwork, yes. for example. Teamwork would work for the company of Veronica and for your company, Jesse. All right? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Because that it's is, less... Mm -hmm. So there are some that trainings is. that may relate or they may be like the same for every company because you need to like... Yes you know, to improve the uh, teamwork because everybody deals with human beings and we need to know how to work as teams, right? So yes. yeah, some, yes. uh, some trainings might be alike, but there are others that are very specific to our jobs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. and then okay. the next question would be, girls, what the organization gains, que gana? La organización, yes. mandarlos a ustedes, right? Al training. What's the, why? What do they win? Because sometimes yes. these trainings are paid, all right? Or these trainings, eh, maybe you don't, they don't pay them, pero como las mandan, no están ustedes en el trabajo. Entonces requiere something else, right? So what do they gain as organizations? What do they gain with this? 
Okay, so excellent yes. girls, keep on talking. You're doing great, thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay. I I yes. talking about the uh, what is my organization gains in me in my case uh, my organization gains out of thing can be quality. Mm -hmm. Of course. Because it's difficult, but it's comforting. Yes. Hi, Moses. Hi, Diana. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you, girl? I mean, girl, sorry. <laughs> Moises, I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'm sorry. Don't worry. Oh, my Don't goodness. Worry. It's, it's Thursday, okay? Don't okay. Worry. So, let's see. Um, guys, I want to hear, of course, Diana, you belong to a different company than Moises, all right? So, what I want you to share with me is, like, the reasons why, in this case, Diana's company would send or conduct trainings for your employees, Diana. What, what reasons do you guys have to send them? Okay. 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 Go ahead, go ahead. The lady first. Ladies okay. first. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, we, we send um, our employees to training. When during the operation, we, ident we identify some opportunity areas or some okay. issues that we are having. Okay, all it right. It could be like the areas. Uh, when we are talking about environment, the mm -hmm. process of environment, or it could be about uh, selling areas. Selling, all right, selling. yes, of course, yeah. Or all customer right. service. That's or, right. Or okay. Like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about Moises? What about in your company, Moises? Why? Why do you think? What are the reasons of your of your manager or the company for sending you the employee to training sessions? Uh, it's about the the conduct or the uh, I don't know how I say. Uh, the the result or the the su comportamiento behavior or the or behavior that we have some some training okay because we we work with with guests uh -huh. so we we need to to have uh for example this 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 course how close we they put me here to take two clues, two clues, mm -hmm. classes. Okay. okay, yes, classes. To have a better conversation and have the understanding that I, that the, the guest is trying to say. Okay, so you work at a hotel, Moises? Yes. Okay, yeah, of course. Okay, all right. So uh, they send you to this training so you can like improve your speaking skills. So you can deal with customers better, right? Yes. Okay. And for for other areas, it depends on the on the note that they have in the in commentario. On their suggestions. In the request. In the request. Ah, okay, okay. What that the guest say? Okay. If ah. someone, yes, if someone has some problem about uh, about the the conduct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They okay. send you a, an attitude uh, oh. workshop, mm -hmm. something like that. Ah, okay, all right, okay, I get it, I see. So in a way, I think many com well, all the companies they may have similar trainings. For example, like customer service, all of the companies should send their employees to like uh, customer service trainings because we yes. deal with people in Diana's business, in Moises' business, we are dealing with people, all right? So we need to have, or we need, they should, uh, uh, the, one of the reasons to improve the customer service area because remember that if you don't have a client, your business dies, all right? Yes. So, and then of course, Every company would have different training areas depending on the field of each company because in, the, in Diana's company is not the same as Moises, 
All right. So you have very specific trainings, Diana, that Moises company won't go. I mean, they won't send them to these trainings because they don't have a funeral home at a hotel, for example. Right. They don't deal with corpse. All right. But in the case of Moises, again, he's probably the hotel is going to send them to how to like, I don't know how to cater. All right. Food and stuff. And of course, Diana is not going to send her employees to do those kind of trainings because it's not related, all right? So every business, they have their own reasons and they have to find the right training, all right? They have yes. to have a purpose. Otherwise, they nobody wins here, all right? Now, what about the second question? What, the, was the, what does the company gain with sending you or send, Diana, in your case, sending your employees to trainings? What do you gain as a company? I think that we we gain to to accomplish our objectives mm -hmm. because we do have uh, some annual objectives and everything we do yeah, points to to gain that okay. to accomplish that that goal that we have uh, as a company. Right, mm -hmm. as a company, very good. And in your case, Moises? In my case, is the employees have a, a good attitude and have a mm -hmm. guest, guest service, uh, the, the guest return to the hotel. Right. And that's, yeah. and that's, that's, the, the, that, that that's they, the gain, right? Yes, that's the gain. Mm -hmm. All right. That I the see. people return to the hotel. Right. And that they recommend it also because. Uh, yes, another person. Right. Yeah, of course. That's the gain. So if they invest on you, the employee, at the end of the day, they are investing on their own company because they are making you happy. Yes, because <laughs> if the employees, the, the company put uh, employee in the in a specific location of the of the of the of the job and is the employee uh, do an like excellent an uh, excellent uh, service with the guest this is the the game that the like the hotel have that the uh, the guest we we will come back and he will recommend to another people. You're right, yeah, very good. All right, very nice. I'm gonna go check, guys, another group, and then we're coming back, okay? okay. Thank you so Thank you, much. Teacher. Thank you, very nice. Diana. Hello. Me nerviosa. <laughs> Resistance, uh -huh. Change resistance or or resistant to change. Change or the, uh -huh. or the new the new order. Uh -huh. Okay, I have to new o sea, resistant change. Let me see. Change resistance. Uh -huh. uh, the companies gain because there are le less change. Resistance. So, hay menos resistencia al cambio, ¿ah? Uh, Or there is less because, change resistance. It, because uh -huh. the company improve, uh -huh. improvement in the, in the employees. The employees uh -huh. prepare to do this new challenge. Uh -huh. Well, oh my goodness. Oh my you God. Have, there are so many words. You fall asleep. <laughs> no, I'm I'm falling asleep. So, I mean, so, so tired. Uh, I'm tired. But it's, it's kind of weird because are you already drunk coffee? Tic tac. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> hey, that's really, for, that's for really Friday, not for today. <laughs> oh, Oscar and Gerardo, really what drunk, happened? Uh, <laughs> Uh, to, no, I already have a, a, a coffee, <laughs> and the coffee didn't help me. Maybe I need a, a shot. <laughs> Oscar, oh, Oscar, fall asleep, fall asleep. Ah, don't fall asleep, Oscar. Come on. All right, Oscar. So, in your company, okay. all right, 
what are the reasons uh -huh. they send you now to trainings? What are yeah, the reasons they to have? Remove the team? We were speaking to we were speaking with Gerardo uh -huh. in, in my company. Um, um, the reason they give trainings is to promote uh, teamwork okay. among the workers, among the employees, teamwork, okay. and yes. maintain the the quality of the service mm -hmm. because we give a service. That's right. We do and maintain, sure. maintain. Right. And also to our to get into the human factors. They say okay. human factors is like uh, how do we behave okay. in, in the working place. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. And to keep to keep the employees up to the date with the date. new technologies. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, and also with the, um, how to say, the practices mm -hmm. of the industry. I mean, the, okay. the, the new practices. Or the or the better practices in, in the industry. Okay, that's right. it for that. Okay, interesting. What about Gerardo? Uh, what about, yes, luckily, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. No, luckily okay. Uh, uh -huh. in our in, in my job, uh, this is well organized. Yes. The yeah. The training structure is well or right. organized. Yeah, you know what? I had a I used to have a student from uh, well, she used to work at Avianca. All right. So, oh, she works yeah. at Avianca, and she was all like always telling me about like all the trainings and stuff, and and they sounded very okay. nice. I mean, they're like constant training people in different areas related, yeah, yeah. of but course, to mm -hmm. a, a seriously organization. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh, right. But in the in the government, no, Avianca is a private interest. Yeah, that's right. Yes. But in the government, in government it's different. Is, as I told <laughs> yesterday, it's evolving. Now it's better. Okay. Now it's better. But That's maybe good. <laughs> ten years ago, there was no so 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 well structured. Organized. Okay. All right. Organized. It was no so so well organized. All like, right. I right see. Now. Okay. Uh -huh. That's good. All right. But you have like have been part of this change then. Yeah, we seem we've been part of, <laughs> part of this change. And, and uh, we were talking with Gerardo. Gerardo told me that, that the told me the re, re change resistance of mm -hmm, the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the change yeah. resistance. Oh and, yeah, and with, the new, really with the new change in the uh, like that 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 yeah. this time the 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 company to innovation to right to the service uh -huh. and products and the mm -hmm. other. Types of yeah things to mm -hmm. to offer the people mm -hmm. or the other company supplier. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess I guess it happens in in like most of the companies that you're always going to find employees that they don't want to change the way they do things, and that's very complicated because they are always yeah. in their comfort zone. And they don't dare want to get out of there. All right. So it's very difficult. Even, I mean, I say even because sometimes people think that it doesn't happen in education, but education is a big field that it should change. But we're stuck, like very, very stuck in education right now. And they don't want to change. It's the way they have been doing it for the last 30 years. So why change it? You know, but it's sad because education is everything you know it's the beginning of everything so if mm -hmm. but they are there stuck with it and they, they won't change <laughs> uh -huh. Gerardo, Gerardo told me that the, the one um, a company gained mm -hmm. less uh, change resistance right by training the people the employees right by training the employees right. the company invests invest in the in the employees the employees have more 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 capacity to do right. the the new right the new dirt yeah the new dirt. Okay. And, I, uh, and also i said the oscar when in this time uh, for example in my company have a new software or computer program okay and the people the people they 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 are they are not to do 
to use this software because mm -hmm. uh, they never never use the computer or never use mm -hmm. a, a a tablet or the other yeah. devices technology <laughs> device yeah. Mm -hmm. right yeah because yeah. don't have a training mm -hmm. and sometimes you know, worse is that they do get the training but they don't want to try <laughs> The comfort zone. Yeah, the comfort zone, <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, we're going to go back right now to see what the other groups came up with, okay? Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Gerardo. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, welcome back. I was uh, in some of the groups. I was talking to uh, Jesse and Vero, as well as Oscar's group and uh, some other groups over there. So how, what did you guys come up with? All right, so what, tell me, I want everyone to mention one reason why your companies send you to trainings or send employees to training, all right? Uh, Jennifer, in your company, tell us one reason different from the one that you already told us that the your the employees are sent to trainings. Uh, in my company, one reason is the better there's the knowledge to the to the to the um to improve their to knowledge. The Yes. Okay. All right. To improve knowledge. the knowledge to the, to all workers about the the, the many areas. Okay. Uh, uh, to the exist inside the company. Okay. And um, for example, the supervisors um, training the, the the operators or the engineering department. Uh, for example, training, training to the supervisors or the operators. Okay. Uh, but the company sent to all people to be, to improve the knowledge about okay. the whatever whatever uh, whatever occupation. Okay. All right. Very good. Interesting. Guillermo, what about in your company? Why are you guys sent to uh, trainings? What are the reasons your company has to send you guys to trainings? Uh, the company is more competitive. Mm, excellent. Very good. Nice. Nice. Uh, and, and, and the best service. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Uh, you said. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good. Williams, in your company, what are the reasons of uh, your company sending you to uh, trainings? Results in less time. Excellent, very nice. Yeah. Excellent, nice, all right. Uh, Moises, in your company? In my case, is for give a better service and to have uh, more knowledge and skills. Mm -hmm. Okay, very and good. In order to, to, to the guest service. Excellent, all right, very good. All right, uh, let me see. Oscar, your company, why do they send you to trainings? Oscar, hola. Can you guys hear me? They lost the connection. With me? Hello, hello. No. Hello? Oh, Oscar. <laughs> uh -huh, Oscar. Okay. Like, ah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No. That's... Okay, let's. Uh -huh, the, the, the company send, send us 
to the trainings to promote the teamwork okay uh, to maintain the, the quality of the service give uh, the employees updated with the new technologies and right. practices of the industry okay uh, and also to about uh, about oh, how to say to to the to <clears throat> to avoid the human factors okay i get it all right to, very good that, that's it uh -huh. okay very good all right jesse in your case why do they send you to trainings okay in my case is for improve the methodologies mm -hmm. and for have more quality mm -hmm. and efficiency efficiency in my uh, efficiency okay in All my right. institutions right okay now when we talk about the reasons your companies send you to trainings or send the employees to trainings are they the same reasons that or are they the same result for the company to gain something because you're talking about proficiency or efficiency uh you're talking about improvement you're talking about quality all right so is this the gain of the company or is there something else guys there are yeah, in the company. there are gain or company because when the when you obtain obtain more trainings mm -hmm. the company gains quality efficiency effective advantages in the times and practice bills too mm -hmm. and have more efficiency in the making activities in in a few time okay all right in less so time. that's our game for the company okay all right yes. okay any uh, norma in your in your company what do they gain as a company well teacher uh, i i um, that the company receive more benefits mm -hmm. because the employee give a uh, give us a better uh, result or uh, the standard profit increase mm -hmm. because the people make more than than ah. previous results too okay all right and also uh, the people when the people have more knowledge the mm -hmm. people uh, identify more opportunities okay. in the process okay and they make a, a process improve Mm -hmm. And with that improves the company gain a better uh, a better uh, efficiency or a better uh, result. Okay, all right. Or okay. accomplish for accomplishment goals too. Okay, nice, interesting. Any other reason or any other gains, guys? Diana, in the case of your company, what do you gain as a company when you send your employees to get trained, Diana? Okay, we had we have some obje objectives, uh, annual objectives, and that device, uh, and they are divided in monthly objectives. Mm, okay, and we gain that uh, as a company we accomplish okay. that goal, All that right. goals. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. I'm gonna keep on sharing this with you guys. Um, I want to show you here, the question was what the organization gains from employee training, all right? And here we have um, some, some of them, profit and growth, all right? Good reputation. If the company sends you or the employees to get trained, at the end of the day, this is what they gain, profit and growth, all right? Good reputation. This is like uh, Moises was saying, if he works at a hotel industry, so if his of the employees are well trained on customer service or, or in whatever uh, training they are sent to, what happens at the end of the day is the customer comes back to the hotel or the, the, this customer recommends the hotel to some other people, all right? So at the end of the day, he's going, the hotel gets more profit 
they grow as a company, they got a good reputation. People say, oh, that hotel is good, you know? The customer service is great. And everything, so every, I mean, the hotel gets a good reputation. And this happens not only in the hotel industry, this, happen, this happens for all of our companies here, all right? Deeper a skill succession pipeline. So that means like the stronger, they get stronger, in other words, as a company, reduce turnover rate. And this is the term that we were talking about yesterday. That means that if you train your employees as a company, what happens is that your employees, they don't want to quit their jobs. They want to stay in the company. And that's a profit for the company because believe it or not, every time a company looks for some new employee, they spend more money doing that or more time hiring new people than maintaining the old people that are already working. All right. That's a cost for them. And they also have a skilled workers, which takes you again to good reputation, to profit and growth, to reduce turnover rate, because the workers are skilled. They know what to do. They know how to deal with things, all right? So that means that remember that we, as the employees, we are the face of the company, all right? So if we are skilled uh, in our workforce, in our workplaces, that means that the company is doing a good job because we are making the company look good because we are like well trained or well developed do you know what i'm saying all right can Did we you... yes i had a, a question mm -hmm. what does that mean or what is the context in this case that work lines pipelines Yes, uh, just pipeline. like deeper skill succession pipelines. It makes, in other words, in uh, like easier words to say, it makes the company stronger or solid. The foundations are bigger, all right, or like stronger, all right? So nothing is going to break them, all right? Pretty much that's what it is in like simple terms, okay? Now, would you add, guys, okay. anything Thank else? Thank you. You're welcome. Would you add any other gains to this? Guillermo, what was the one you told me when I asked you about what does your company gain? Guillermo, are you there? I guess not. Uh, work, 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 team, teamwork. Teamwork also, okay, sure, all right. Yeah, and like efficiency and all um, those things, right? Okay, uh, uh, Williams also said that they make things in less time, for example. They do more, so it's efficiency, all right? So everything is related here to what, if you are trained as an employee, all right, your company means, it means that your company has like good profit, good growth, good reputation, good skill workers. They reduce the turnover rate. I don't know if it happens to you that sometimes you find a company that nobody wants to work at, all right? Or in my educational field, uh, sometimes I have um, co-workers that they have, they switch from school and this particular school, I mean, I'm not gonna mention any names, but sometimes they, like everybody's quitting from that school. And then you're wondering what's going on, all right? So, and that happened, I would believe that that happens in every single field that there is this uh, company, everybody quits, you know, maybe because they don't feel uh, the requirements, they don't follow standards or whatever, and they're not like treating their person, like their staff in the proper way, all right? So, it's it's a matter of how the foundation of this company and their goals and achievements and perspectives are all right so everything comes down like as i i have as i've been saying like for the past like two classes here everything is a chain everything is linked all right if the company is performing well the employee is performing well if the employee is performing well, that means the company is doing a good job, all right? So it's like very linked. 
with everything else here. Now I have this one. I have this here, guys. And it's a new classmate. It's a dog. I know. <laughs> it's a All right. So this was the question. What the what the organization gains from employee training? But now I want you to tell me what do you gain? What does an employee gain from employee training? What do you gain, Guillermo? If you are sent to this training, what do you gain as, a, as, a, as an employee? Guillermo? Dice, what an employee's gain from an employee's training? And, uh, more benefits. Uh, more okay. benefits. Uh, more benefits. Uh huh. The best. Uh, best match. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Uh, leadership. Okay. Nice. All right. All right, Irene, thank you, Guillermo. What do you, what do you gain as a, an employee when you are sent to a training? I, I gain uh, more experience and more abilities. Okay, perfect, very good. And, right. more, okay. and, more, and more knowledge. Excellent, right. very nice, all right. What about Gerardo, when you are sent to a training, what do you gain as an employee? In my case, I, I think, uh, I increase the capacity to adopt new technology okay. and methods. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And also motivation. And oh, excellent. Yeah. Satisfaction. And satisfaction. Nice. Satisfaction. All right. Okay. Very good. Sylvia, what do you gain as an employee when you're sent to a training? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I think okay, we all can uh, hear you. Good night. Good evening. Uh, I think. Yeah, good evening. I think that uh, we are uh, grow up in the in the company in mm -hmm. gain. Um, how do you say a sense or a, a race on your job? A race, a race in my job. Okay. All right. Very good. Oscar, what do you gain? I gain uh, professional development. Yeah. Maybe promotion okay. in, within the company. All right. Uh huh. Okay. Very or good. why not uh, in the near in the near future um, uh, getting another employee? I mean, or another employment. Okay, sure. Um, All right, very good. And you for, for for another company. Yeah, of course. Uh, All right. Because for your growth, your per okay. personal growth. That's that right. That will be personal growth. Right, very good. All right, Henry. Uh, the aim for the employer is more competitive. You become more competitive. Market. Yes, Henry. Yes, the market uh, or at the another position better position in the right. in the enterprise and then yeah. maybe another organization that's right uh, very good. the salary is better too excellent you train as much. okay very nice okay yes sometimes the communication is better of course yes all right now here guys i have um some of ex some examples of these uh, like answers to this question what an employee gains from employee training career advancement as you were saying right self development or professional like self uh, professional development better finances in a way that you can even get promoted within your company all right because you have better skills so you can like um, keep on going up the ladder here of your own company enhance productivity you become more productive which at the end of the day makes you a part of the company all right so all of these things are some of course some of the uh, gains that you may have as an employee when you guys are trained okay 
let's see here. This is what we're going to be working on right now. We're about 18 students. Can you guys take a picture of this? All right. Yes, we can see. Now, what, what these are, they are types of trainings, okay? Remember last, I think it was like the, first, the Tuesday's class, we were, I was telling you and I was sharing with you the types of uh, professional development. And we had trainings and seminars and lectures and conferences. Now we're talking about trainings which are part of professional development. And these are types, whoops, watch my spelling here. Whoops, guys. Uh, types, these types are, they belong to trainings, okay? So here we have types of training. So we have orientation training, compliance training, onboarding training, manager, manag, manag, I don't know, managerial training. Whoops, I don't know. <laughs> Someone to help me here. Managerial. I guess so, right? Leadership management. Skills. No, but it's not management. It's management. I don't know. I'm stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, leadership leadership <laughs> skill <laughs> training. Managerial <laughs> training. No voy a poder dormir, se lo juro. Estoy adivinando, right? Leadership <laughs> skills training. All right. Technical training. Soft skill development training. Product specific training. PST health, safety, and security training, and mandatory trainings. These guys, again, these are not all of them, but these are the most common ones. Where? They should be everywhere. Managerian, managerial, managerial training? Entrenamiento gerencial. Yeah, right, managerial. But that's the pronunciation, right, Norma? Managerial. Managerial. I would believe so. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture Okay, and then, okay, and then um, I'm going to send you to your groups again, and I want you to choose mm -hmm. 18, or 17, 18 with me. I want you to choose one. There are 10, all right? And then the, the one you choose is I want you to tell me what it is, because here we have, for example, uh, that one, uh, let, let's say orientation training. What are you doing on orientation training? Don't tell me, I'm not asking you right now. Think about if you, like Williams and I chose orientation training. Well, we say, okay, so in this training, we do this, all right? And this, this is what happens on this training, okay? And I want you to also think about what are the benefits of that kind of training. If Moises and Gerardo chose compliance training, so what is it and what are the benefits? If someone else, Nubia and Diana, they chose onboarding training, what is it and what is the benefit? Okay, do you understand what we're going to be working with? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Excellent, guys. You are the best. But you know what? I have attendance to take right now. Almost done here. <laughs> this is part of my training. All right, Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez, Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Present. Thank you, Eric Mauricio Paredes, Hernandez. All right, Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Present. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present teacher. Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Present teacher. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Present. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Present. 
All right. Verónica Elisset Soto Serna. Present. Teacher. Nubia, thank you. Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm sending you back. All right. So choose one. Try to choose, like, don't get stuck with the one you know. Try a different one. All right. Don't, uh, like, a right. step out of your comfort zone. <laughs> All right. Okay. There we go. Hola. Eric le salió la invitación. Elizabeth, Eli, Okay, we can go, yeah, we can do it, I, I think, but we don't have a lot of time, I think. Hi, Williams. Or Jessica, select for us. <laughs> ah, you want me to choose one? Perfect, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I choose, um, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what, what we about, we what don't. About, yeah. What about leadership skill training? Leadership skills training. That okay. One. I, I yeah. think it's when you're uh, training some people for to go a uh, leader into the company, uh, going to a leader into the company, so like a um, manager position. And I think that this, this is very important. Diana and Moises, which one did you choose? I'm sorry. We choose, we chose leadership skills training. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. Diana is talking about the, the, name is the really important. Important. Okay. Yes, of course. All right. Mm -hmm. So think about what it is and what are the benefits of those of that kind of training. Okay, Diana and Moises. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. There is training. Training. There is training. Um. Quality training. What is training? Guillermo and Nubia, which one did you choose? Training. Training. Quality training. Hi, you chose quality training? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So think about what it is and the benefits of them, okay? Okay. Thank you. 
the benefits of, of the, the tape of that type of training for example quality, quality training mm -hmm. what what's the benefit of that one so if you take that training Guillermo what would be the benefit of it okay mm -hmm. um. Y de eso vamos a sacar conceptos, eh, ah, excerpts. Okay. Excerpt. Hi, Normita. Hi, no. Irene. Hi, teacher. I had a confused teacher. And you were confused. <laughs> what happened, Norma? Uh, that, uh, Irene choose one topic and I another one. Ah, no, no. Or, that, just... or that are both the same topic. That's right, yes. For both of you, uh, the same topic and kind of like define it and then tell me the benefits of that type of training. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. We're going to continue with this topic tomorrow anyway, because we're not going to be able to finish because I wanted to show the definitions of each. All right. But right now, what I wanted you to do is you to come up with your own definition of one. All right. And then tomorrow we're going to, I'm going to walk you through to the, like, to the definitions of, of all of them. All right. Norma, I'm eating it. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. The, the trainer for, for out the next month, I think is the, this problem for the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I train them for use uh, glasses. I use, How do you uh, use all the method? The method for, for prevent, I don't know, prevent, it, como se dice? Prevent? For, prevent? Prevent? Prevent. Uh -huh. Prevent. prevent? I have prevent this this virus. Right. Yes. Of course. Uh -huh. In the company, um, I think is the the trainer for in in this and the health health safety and security. Health. Uh -huh. And security. And safety and security. Uh huh. Security maybe, but I think it's more in the industrial enterprise for you, for you pull. I think the security is, is both, is for the employee and in our case for the customer too. Also, because yeah. Because you need, because mm -hmm. yeah, in, for example, in, in this case for the COVID-19, COVID you have to, the company have to train and give all indication about how to prevent mm -hmm. this disease right. for us and for our customers. Right. Okay. Teacher, how do you say protocol? Protocols? Protocols. Protocols, protocol. protocol. yes. Mm -hmm. Protocol. Mm -hmm. protocol. Yes. Uh -huh. Right. Maybe the enterprise uh, have the protocol for preventing. Mm -hmm. They have to have them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, especially now that because of this, this whole uh, COVID-19 thing, every company, they should have a protocol of, you know, like 
that they that the employees or the customers need to follow when they get into the company there is the new, there is a new process for the uh -huh, new process that's right i mean when we everything reopens again nothing is going to be the same as it used to be no the, All right. the yeah. Idea is different. yeah it's going to be very different <laughs> unfortunately yes. yeah Mm -hmm. okay. So, guys, did you choose? Uh, is this the one you chose? Uh, just give me a second here. No, mm -hmm. I. Were you choose? Ah, you chose two. Yes, the yes. the fifth is uh, the progress the leadership yes. skill training. Okay, this one. Yes, yes, yes. And what's the other one? The health, safety, and security training. No. The health, safety. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Yeah, all right. Yeah, and this one right now, guys, is very, it's going to be super important right now. Right? In this moment, yeah. Yeah, of course. I think that would be like the, the one training every company should have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All, every, all company have to, to train. That's right. It. Yes, everybody. I mean, it's mandatory, Jose Luis. I mean, through the ministry yeah. of of work and everything of employment i mean and health also they're going to be monitored if they are following or not with these trainings so everybody should train yes, their be, employees mm -hmm. yes for example for for us before mm -hmm. the the hotel open we start before because mm -hmm. they they want they will to train training our okay. people about right. the pro the new process right now jose luis the hotel is closed right now completely yes it's closed yes. completely mm -hmm. wow it, henry it you be, henry you work at the hotel to... too right yes i could work with the jose luis. yeah no kidding are you in the same uh, department <laughs> Yes, I think. Yes, we were in the same department. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what is the department that you work at? The section. Reception. Oh the my section. goodness. All right. I see. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So when and is the whole Moises work? Uh -huh. Moises work there too. Oh my Moises goodness. Oh really? <laughs> Oh my yes, goodness. But, 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 but he is different. A different mm. But you know him. Yes. Yes. Ah. I know because uh, he he worked in the say in the say department, but uh, through, the around last, six months this, ago. This he oh my goodness. He for, for a new position. Right. Ah, okay. Interesting. Now, you guys at the hotel, I believe that you have like constant training all the time, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. all right. Or training about now about English and mm -hmm. training in French class too. Cool. And every two or three months is uh, mm -hmm. about attitude and customer service. Excellent. Customer service. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Very nice, interesting. The English is important here because yeah, of I the uh, people the other country. That's right, yes. That that mm. is the language of like the one you need yeah. to wow. Yes. <laughs> so when is the hotel gonna reopen? Do you know? Maybe in September. Wow. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. So right now, guys, you are not going to like the hotel at all. You're not going to the hotel right now. Or you go sometime. No, no, no. I stay no. home only. Since okay. March. The hotel is, is closed. Since March. Totally closed. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But I hope that, uh, that uh, this is bearing. I open soon yeah i mean yeah i mean hopefully they will open soon and hopefully like all the uh, processes would be followed so you guys don't get sick hola 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 me, me, me congelé 
<laughs> oh my goodness! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! <laughs> You're right. uh -huh. you frozen. I'm frozen. Oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I was saying that hopefully the hotel will be open soon, but like taking care of you, the employees, because otherwise you guys are gonna get sick right away. I mean. Yes, that, that's right. Before uh, they they call us and before the hotel open, we are to start work uh, one week before mm -hmm. because they are going to train. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of yes. course. Yes. That's the best way. Yeah. All yes, right. That's okay. The best way. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Very good. So I'm gonna go check okay. one more group, and we're going back to the main. Tomorrow, guys, we're going to continue talking about this because I'm going to show you each definition of each type of training and the benefits this um, carries, okay? okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, guys, very you. much. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to close the groups right now, and we're going to discuss a little bit longer, and we're about to go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, um, who chose, did anybody choose orientation training? Did anybody choose orientation training? No? We <laughs> did, Oh, who did? Irene. Excellent. Yes, in, 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 in Normita, too. <laughs> Excellent, all right, okay, very good. What about compliance training, guys? Did anybody choose compliance training? No? Okay. Onboarding training? Nobody? Managerial training? Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Leadership <laughs> training. Here, teacher. Uh huh. Yes, I know. Teacher. <laughs> that one, a lot of groups <laughs> chose it. Okay. <laughs> what about technical training? Me, teacher. Excellent. Me okay. Teacher. Excellent. What about soft skills development training? Nobody. Uh -huh. Gerardo and me, teacher. Gerardo Excellent. And me. Very good, Oscar. Thank you. And, and Gerardo. Excellent. Product specific training? Nobody? Okay. Health, safety, and security training? Henry yes, also. Teacher. Yeah, Henry. Yes. Very good. And Jose Luis. Very good. What about a mandatory training? Did someone choose that one? No? Okay. All right, guys, this is what we're going to do. This is the plan. Uh, it's time to go, all right? So tomorrow when we come in, we're going to start talking. I want you to guide, remember the one you chose, okay? So for example, Normita, that you chose the first one. Yes, Norma, with um, Irene? Yes I, yes, I want you to remember the one you chose. And then tomorrow when we come into class, you're going to tell me what is it about and the benefits of that kind of training. So everybody is going to tell me. So please remember the training that you chose. All right. Don't Google it. Pro Pinky promise you won't Google. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's about what you know. Okay. I cannot promise. I cannot promise. Oh, come on. That's a skill teacher. That would be cheating. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. That's a skill teacher. All right. Okay. So uh, tomorrow when we come to class, we're going to discuss, or you guys are going to tell me what you think it is and the benefits. When we finish, I'm going to show you the real definition. What is, for example, the orientation training and the benefits mm. that this one has. Okay. And then... Okay other stuff like the vocabulary from the manual and everything and then we're gonna be done tomorrow the first week of your program okay okay, okay. okay. So, thank you so much for being with me tonight i'll see you all tomorrow don't miss classes bye guys please work on your home thank you thank you bye bye, bye. bye. bye guys bye